Hello, I'm Chemical Safety Board Chairman John Bresland with a safety message. Pressure vessels are everywhere throughout industry. From major chemical plants to service stations, they are indispensable to modern life. But without appropriate safeguards, pressure vessels can present lethal hazards. These hazards can occur when the vessels are improperly installed, welded or modified, or when they lack effective pressure release systems. The Chemical Safety Board has investigated a number of serious, even fatal accidents where pressure vessels failed suddenly and without warning, creating deadly projectiles. My safety message is simple. Pressure vessels store huge amounts of energy and you must never become complacent about the risks. In March 1998, four workers died in a powerful explosion at a Louisiana gas well. The blast occurred when a large process vessel which was only rated for atmospheric pressure, was inadvertently exposed to gas at a pressure of up to 800 pounds per square inch. The vessel had no release system, and a flawed engineering design allowed workers to mistakenly valve off the only vents. When the vessel failed, four men were killed instantly. In April 2003, an explosion blew apart an eight-foot tank used to heat sugar caramel for use as a food coloring. The vessel had not been inspected, certified or registered for use as a pressure vessel and it lacked a pressure release system. When the vent line became blocked with caramel, the vessel overpressurized and exploded, killing an operator. It caused a large spill of aqueous ammonia and forced the community to evacuate. Finally, four years ago, in December 2004, much of Houston was rocked by the violent explosion of a 50,000 pound pressure vessel at a chemical plant. The CSB investigation found that the vessel had been improperly welded and modified by the company, dramatically reducing its strength. Heavy fragments of the vessel traveled nearly a thousand feet and nearby buildings suffered structural damage. Texas is one of just 11 states that do not require companies to follow the pressure vessel code. This code of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers dates back to 1915 and provides fundamental safeguards for pressure vessels including design, fabrication, welding procedures and pressure relief. In 2006 the Chemical Safety Board called upon the City of Houston to adopt this code to better protect its citizens and its industrial facilities. Unfortunately, Houston has yet to act on this safety recommendation. Just last summer, a stark reminder of the danger of pressure vessels occurred at another Houston chemical plant. At a facility that makes resin for tires, a veteran supervisor died tragically when a heat exchanger was accidentally overpressurized with ammonia. The explosion followed maintenance work when a valve leading from the exchanger to a pressure release system was left closed. These four accidents highlight the dangers from pressure vessels when their hazards are not properly controlled. I call on all states and local governments to adopt the pressure vessel code and related boiler standards. Lives will be saved as a result. I'm John Bresland, Chairman of the Chemical Safety Board. Thank you for watching this safety message.